Hello, Geneva. I'm Mayor Kevin Burns, and I want to welcome you to a new edition of Business Beat. I am joined by the founder and artistic director of State Street Dance Studio, located in the historic Fargo Theater building in downtown Geneva and celebrating 13 years in our community. Absolutely. Isn't that Thank exciting? You so, uh, it is so amazing. Thank it's you exciting. so much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. I, when I first came to Geneva, I live in Batavia for right. 15 years, and when I first was looking for the spot and found this spot, I was like, oh my gosh, it was heaven. It was perfect. perfect. To be in the Fargo Theater building has such rich history. It does. It's and amazing. to be in an artistic position that I'm in, right. to be in here just was a perfect marriage. Well, there's a little bit on the Channel 10 and Channel 99 about this building as well. Is it right? And of course, the cultural history is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And may I add that you add significant cultural value Thank to downtown you. Geneva. Thank you so much. It's, it's wonderful. We are a technically driven school. The work that we do here is really intense. We start at three-year-olds. Wow. And we go all the way through 103. So whoever is out there, don't be afraid to put your dancing shoes on and come on by. We have a lot of adults <laughs> that dance here. Oh, I know. I've seen know? them. And matter of fact, I don't know if you all know, but I'm going to give you a little privy information here. Uh oh This guy's going to be in my nutcracker. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I have the pleasure of uh, performing as Mother Ginger on Sunday, December 1st at the Batavia Fine Arts Center. Absolutely, we yes. have three shows. We're gonna do two shows on November 30th at the Batavia Fine Arts Center. Right. And Mr. Mayor Kevin Burns is going to be my mother, Ginger, which traditionally it's very common for a dignitary and a man to do that role. No kidding. Yeah, we're going to dress well, you up guy. as a woman, though. And I don't know about dignitary, but I'm your man, so what the <laughs> heck. And I've signed all the releases and the DNRs. It's, it's all good. It's, it's all, all good, good yeah. so no resuscitation in case I fall. No, you're going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. And you know what's really neat? The cast gets really close. Right. And everybody, you know, we have a cast of 100, which is very unusual for Nutcracker. It's a huge cast. Oh, I've been to some of the rehearsals. Absolutely. The Alderman Don Cummings, former yes. Alderman uh, Sam, Sam Hills involved. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of business people, yeah. and they're all very talented. I'm the guy they invited to kind of balance things out. No, he's going to be amazing. He is the perfect person for it's this. Going to be Trust great. me, he's got a lot of energy, and you're going to be awesome. Well, we're excited. in your office. Absolutely. This is a working office because a, a, a artistic person is never neat and tidy. There's always stuff going on. There is so much, and you can even see around the room here. I love it. Many shows up on the board. We just finished the full-length version of Moulin Rouge over uh, there, yes, yes. and did Don Quixote behind you at the Paramount Theater in Aurora. Yep, That's beautiful. Been our home, yeah, for the oh. past 13 years, and then now the past two years this is our second year for being over at the Batavia Fine Arts Center right. for Nutcracker. Right. So, and it's a brand new theater, so yes. it's fun. It's but gorgeous. yes, to piggyback on what you were saying about my office, sorry. <laughs> I really, love it, I love it. It's crazy. So come on this way and we'll walk out. We're gonna follow Linda down the hallowed hallways to the actual studio where we, I think we have some dancers practicing. We do. So come join us. This is, hi Geneva, this is a faculty member here. Her name Ms. is Geneva. Geneva. Do you believe it? That is awesome. <laughs> this, come on in, you're my on God. camera here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Blue Island. How are you? <laughs> nice Mayor to Kevin Burns. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Sorry. God, this is awesome. It, well, you know, we have to have load in for all, right. the, all the costumes. And my wardrobe mistress is Penny Anderson. Oh, of course. And she has Dancer's Dream right across the street. I went to high school with Penny's husband. Absolutely, absolutely. I knew that. Oh, God, I know. Isn't that something? <laughs> I get to sneak away up here, and then down here, this hallway, is where we go to the studios. And State Street has three studios. And by the way, all of my customers, dancers and parents, absolutely adore this location. Oh, I bet. Adore, I mean, it's perfect. It's wonderful. Thank you. This, this girl here, her name is Shanti Max. The teacher? No. Oh, the, the young lady. The student. And this is a, to work on her core, look at those beautiful feet. Like I said, we are a technically driven school. The teacher that's in there is my director of ballet. She's from Cuba, was oh, a professional wow. dancer in really? her day. Mm -hmm. And this girl is going to be doing the Grand Prix, which is the biggest competition. We are a non-competition based school, but this is the biggest competition, uh, the Grand Prix, and she is going to be in it. And that's wow. going to be, yeah. 
So we're going to take a walk in there and show you what she does. And now we're going to check out some areas that are, are, are featuring some of the publicity you've received over the years, which is constant. It is constant. Awesome. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Uh, we are very, very blessed with great press. The newspapers are so kind to us. What we do is visual here, so they find it interesting for their readers. This is a really neat thing that happened. This is a Brazilian newspaper. Oh, this is awesome. This is unbelievable. Uh, Emma Sadari, who is a 11-year-old student here, is the first student in the United States of America to be asked to go to Bolshoi, the most prestigious Isn't ballet school in the world. I had the pleasure of meeting her. Absolutely. We had yeah. a little photo shoot. Oh, it was fantastic. What a lovely young lady. She's traveled to Brazil, and oh my god. And free airfare, food, lodging, and all the dance she could do for three weeks, and now the bridge is solid and I will be able to bring many dancers every right. year to Bolshoi and it's a huge huge honor there's one in Russia and one in Brazil and we have the Brazilian connection so it's wonderful really I know excited. you have a gentleman dancing in the Nutcracker who's from Brazil as well two of them two Jose and Roni unbelievable and they're amazing they remind Just me a lot of myself yeah you know <laughs> It's what happens, you know, it, just, it just, just happens. Just dancing around all the tough issues. Yeah. It's amazing. Matter of fact, let's get him on the mat in here. Let's work <laughs> some, some of them out. And here's some of our performers. Look yes. at that. And, and one of the moms just ran around the corner. She doesn't want Wait, to be on hi, TV. Wait, hi, girls. Why don't you say your name really quick? I'm Juliana Longo, and I'm Emma Corbett. Juliana and Emma? Yeah. Woo. I'm Macy, actually. Hi, Macy. How are you? <laughs> this is rarefied air in here. Yes. Only the best and the brightest get to go in here. We'll stand at the door. Yeah, would you mind, Terry? Do we have to take our, should I take my shoes off? No, you're fine. Okay. Uh, wow. Like I was saying, this is my director of ballet, Miss Vilma, and this is Shanti Max. Shanti, how old are you? She's 11. And take a look at these feet. Look. I look for beautiful lines, beautiful feet. Okay. This is very hard work. The core. I can imagine. And she's holding her back. It's like plyometrics almost. Isn't it's it? it's unbelievable. It's very hard. You have to do everything. You have to think about everything from the tip of your head to the to the tip of your toe. It's just unbelievable. It's very concentrated. Now we practice on the mat. But this is what's ultimately done while standing up. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So when she gets at the bar, her posture and core is there. And it's very hard. You, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a professional. You always have to have that core. Wow. <laughs> and this is my new best friend from all the way from Cuba. Yes. How do yes. you do? This is Mayor Kevin Burns here. Hi, how are you? Sorry to interrupt. It's a pleasure watching you. This is really neat. Uh, this is Vil cool. Vilma is absolutely amazing. She shares my vision. We, I, I, call, I tell her that she's like a sister to me. Yeah. She's, she's just wonderful, and she does amazing work with the children here. Yes. And absolutely. a professional dancer yourself. Yes. No, how yes. long have you been dancing? I danced for six years in the company, and we started six, eight. Wow. So, yeah. She's beautiful and she has such a great vision with where to take the dancers and that's, that's what neat. makes the difference between a technically driven school okay. and not. Got so it. we, even though you can be a recreational dancer, the instruction you're getting here is very high level. Thank you. So I always so feel nervous standing with you because you're all so perfect. It's like I gotta <laughs> stand up straight. Sure, you know, people say that, so, uh, that to us all day, you know. How am I doing, Vilma? Pretty good? Very good. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. I'm, we I'm wearing Spanx, <laughs> so it's awesome. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, thank you, Shanti. Thank you, Shanti. Sorry to bother you, babe. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Are you going to be in the Nutcracker? Yes. So am I. It's going to be awesome. He's Mother Ginger. I'm Mother Ginger. Isn't, Isn't that it scary? The best? Yeah. Want my autograph? No. What? What? Where? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shanti, can you show us the splits really quick? Whichever is your best. There's a left or right splits? B left or right and then center. Can you combray right back, please? Ballet is a foreign language, it's French. Can you go center, please? And lean forward all the way. Now, at what age do you <laughs> need assistance getting up? 
<laughs> That's the question. Right, right. That is a good one. I think about 49 right? or so. Like, now can you do the other leg? Says. Can you bring your toe to your head? Oh dear God, I think I'm gonna be, I'm nauseous. It's like, <laughs> they, oh, wow, that is, is that awesome. That is bravo. unbelievable, thank bravo. You. Thank you. Thank you, sorry to interrupt teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Shanti. Wow. And, you know, I do want to say too that the dancers here at State Street are so polite. Oh, and we teach extraordinary. Them. It's really amazing. And we really teach the etiquette at a very early age of going up to your teacher, okay. being a sign of respect and bowing and thanking that teacher. It's, and that same respect is shown to the performers. Absolutely. Because I've seen it before during the rehearsals. I yes. mean, the performers are the ones that make or break the show. It's it's unbelievable. It's magic. Yeah, it is. It's, it's truly magic. It's a gift to do what you love in life, and I have been honored and blessed to That's be able awesome. to do so, and I'm so happy that you're in my show. That's awesome. Please don't touch. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, God, no, I'm not serious. <laughs> do you hear that? Are you serious? Please don't look at me directly in the eyes. So we have we have three studios wow. here. That's Studio Ooh, Three, and this is the size of a professional stage, and then some. And this is Studio One. And there's Miss Geneva again. There's Geneva again. <laughs> and she was a professional dancer as well, and we're just so happy to have her on faculty. She's wonderful, great demeanor. Our faculty is. Oh, it's top notch. Top notch. Unbelievable. Now, you are you preparing to teach some students today? You are. And how many students will you have with you today? Um, well, I have four classes, but the first class is the largest. It's about 14. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a silly question, Go. but perhaps not. A lot of young ladies are dancing, but how many young men participate? We actually have a lot of men that dance here, and we have a lot of boys that dance okay. here. Like in our Nutcracker, we have, oh my gosh, there's maybe... 15 men no kidding. and 14 boys. Yeah, wow, absolutely. Awesome. It's wonderful. The three little guys in the white shirts oh, are adorable. Are they adorable? Oh, oh. my gosh. It's, it's a blessing. <laughs> okay. So this is where I did my practice. Yes. Now, usually, friends of Geneva, this is a very warm room. Mm -hmm. And it's warm by design. Absolutely. We have a teacher on faculty, Steve Norman, who actually cranks the heat, which is very common for dancers, just like professional athletes. Did you play anything? Did you play in sports? <clears throat> no, but thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> well, play, you're a dancer I, I, now. I, I am a dancer. You're a dancer, absolutely. I am a dancer. But it's really common for athletes and dancers to have really warm rooms so their muscles stay warm. Okay, got yeah, it. That's important. Because and regardless of age. Absolutely, because you don't want to have an injury. It's right. better to be warm than cold and moving at the... Because I've been in here before with, with lots of uh, the young girls and young boys, and it's hot. Right. But oh, regardless right. of the age, they Sweaty. need to be Are loosened up. And... Absolutely, you're, okay. you're ready to go. Um, it's, That's neat. We have a ballet training program here, which is, again, for the technical dancer that really wants to learn. Right. That way you can go and move on and become a professional dancer if that's your dream. Or I'm, if you just want to Yep. I met a young lady last week. She is 18 years old, mm -hmm. is most likely going to go to New York University to dance. Oh, yeah. Very impressive young lady. We have a lot of dancers here that when their time is done at State Street and they're ready to go to college, that go for dance degrees. and that amazing? Apps. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Well, it's got to be a pretty special thing for these students to say, I performed with Linda Cunningham mm -hmm. at, at State Street Dance Studio. I mean, that's, that's big stuff. Well, you know, I thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that. I've been teaching for over 30 years. I started wow. teaching when I was 14 years old. Really? Yeah. I, it, it, it's unbelievable. And when you do what you love in life, right. the, it, the blessings just come. It's amazing. But where, where have you danced? Okay. I, I, as far as my career with dancing, I danced in Chicago okay. and in Arizona. You did? I did, yeah. And in I, Phoenix or? In Phoenix. Is that right? Yeah, you know, with the Arizona Dance Company. Wow. That's, and you knew as a little girl this is what you wanted to do? Absolutely. My parents are dance teachers. My father ah, is. Okay. They're both going to be 85 in December. My dad is still teaching ballroom here. Really? He is the quintessential. Well, I artist. met your dad. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that is so and cool. He, I, I learned the love of dance from 
three people. My first real teacher, Zaki Lebowski, who is deceased now. Okay. I've dedicated some of my shows to her. And my parents, because they were in the ballroom, professional ballroom ah, and teaching, it. and I went to the ballet in character. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. broke the mold. I guess I did. You did. Yeah. That's good. My, well, we're glad you did. Thank you. Because now so you're much. here in Geneva. Thank this is you. so cool. It, you know, I want to say too, in regards to Geneva, it's to me, it's like a Norman Rockwell painting here. I've all, often said that to people. I love the community. I'm super community minded. Yes, you I, are. I love doing charitable things for different organizations, and I like working with different people in the community like you know chocolate kitchen grams it doesn't matter right i like to collaborate i think that that's a cool thing well in case you don't know linda was also the choreographer for the annual dancing with geneva stars yes absolutely. which is still running on channel 10 last year's show yeah is it really oh yeah, yeah i watched it, it the other day it was it was so fun you know the, all the people that were in the shows they really stepped out outside their comfort zone oh, gosh. And, they, and they went for it <laughs> yeah and it was hard because they're not dancers so for them to get up and do that in front of oh my god people. can you imagine awesome. well you could imagine yes. i can't imagine <laughs> now we're above the old theater yes actually but this floor is special it's got give all all of these floors are sprung and that's again for injury you, okay. you want to be able to hey come on in hey cartwright how are you how are you man how you doing this is cartwright what a great name cartwright dances here and he he's in my nutcracker and he also does hip-hop can you say hello you do hip hop? Mm -hmm. Can you show me some moves? Uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Anything. Anything you want, man. Floor is yours. Go. Awesome! That's actually called a coffee grinder. That's nothing. Grinder. Watch this. Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Cartwright. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Cartwright's shy. Oh, <laughs> he is so adorable. And funny story, actually a cute story. His mom told me that he wants to be a professional dancer. Nice. Yeah, so he takes ballet and hip hop and he's doing really, really well. He's super focused. He also does gymnastics. And if my kids want to be professional dancers, this is where you come. Thank you. Right? I'll take it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's I so cool. That. It's so cool. What else can we see? Okay, I wanted to bring you into a big studio and show you a whole classroom. Ooh, excellent. Let's go check it out. Let's, we'll put them to work. Jesus. Ladies, I am your instructor today. <laughs> First thing we do is run to Dairy Queen and grab some, what, no? This is, you ready? This is ballet training program. Training. Some of the dancers are not in here right now. This is how A starts their classes and B. We have okay. levels A, B, C, D, and E. It's very important. You'll see the focus on their face. You might want to get in the end of this line here. <laughs> Jesus, pull a muscle. <laughs> But you can see the look on their face. Yeah, very focused. Yep. Now their hands are in this position. That's the... That's the I'm Ba, the first. Mm -hmm. And like I say, it's a foreign language, so it's French. And they need to learn the terminology. Okay. And like I said, A, B, C, D, and E are our levels. And E being the highest. They have to make it completely around the room. And then, I remember I was talking to you about yeah. that bow and that reverence. You'll okay. see that happen too. Now, where are they looking when they're in line? They're just looking straight ahead and no? A absolutely. You're not supposed to be wavering okay. and looking at anything else. You're supposed to be focusing on your core. And focus is extremely important in dance. Okay. You have to have excellent memorization skills. It's really oh, important. Oh, yeah. So you'll see. Watch the arms. It's Can't art and athleticism. Absolutely. I well said. Well Thank said. You. Yeah. I found it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that was gorgeous. I, they all the day they, off. Did they do a bow? Okay, so can we get that in there? They have to turn and bow then? Oh, this is oh, good. God, it gotta, get, gotta get this. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah. Now you have to squeeze your tush. Pull in your core, drop your shoulders. <laughs> I feel like Tim Conway. It's like, 
<laughs> no one knows who Tim Conway is. Yeah, I do. You guys don't know who Tim Conway is. Oh, it's that simple a bow. Just very gentle and... Yes. When, when they go up to a teacher at the end of class, then they curtsy ah. and, and bow. Do the gentlemen curtsy as well? The gentlemen put their feet together and they bow. Just in, yes, boom. absolutely. But you ladies do this. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's the best I can do. <laughs> He's doing well. He's doing well. Okay, let's go take a look at another class that's going on, totally different. Let's go grab some Tylenol. We'll be right back. So this genre is hip hop. Oh, Something, this is the hip hop. This is hip hop, completely different, yet very hard to do. It's a lot of isolations, a lot of memorization. Darius is a wonderful hip hop teacher. Great with the kids, they love it. So you can see the body moves completely different. And but this young lady is also dressed as a ballerina. So. Probably she has class then after this. A lot of dancers here, adults included, piggyback their classes. Got it. So they don't just come for an hour. They, sp they spend the night or at least two hours worth of class. Now, now in the old days, Pete, you probably remember this. Folks of Geneva, you remember this. Professional athletes, football players, right. would take ballet. Oh, yes. Do they still? I'm sure they do. And that's for the benefit of just being more agile? And being more agile, being a little more fluid with your movements. Got it, okay. You know, just to be able to learn how to stretch better so uh, you're pulling hamstrings, so many yeah. injuries in sports, right. like we were talking about with soccer. Yeah. <laughs> right? So here we, here we go. This is a little bit of hip hop, and we'll just watch how they move. And we at State Street encourage all dancers of all levels and all ages to spread their wings okay. and let it, let it fly and let it go. And Miss Macy here in the orange. Macy, can you step forward? How are you doing, Macy? She is a big time ballerina, but yet she can move in this genre like crazy. Are you waiting for Darius to begin? <laughs> okay. So you can see, and this is actually hard, kind of hard to do. Because I can imagine. The, because the isolations, it's not as easy as it looks. You know. And watch what is an, is an isolation? The isolating a certain body part? I, I, isolation in your core. Oh, I like, see. So isolation of your movements. You see how he moves his body? Yeah. We have adults that do these classes. Like I said, we have a lot of adults that dance here. Big NIA community, which is huge. It's a freedom of movement class for adults. Oh, wow. It's, yeah. And then ballroom, adult jazz, adult modern. So we have a lot of different classes for different people, ages, and abilities. So you can see. Isn't he great, though? <laughs> Darius. Darius, you, you know, how, how do you keep your hat on? That's all. I, I know. You, Darius, can you do me a favor and just show us something? Just I'm Kevin. Darius. This is how are you, man? Mayor Kevin. Yeah, good moves. Oh, kind of remind me of me. Darius, can you show us something real quick? Okay. Now let's see. You, you may follow along here. <laughs> Wait till you see what he does. This guy's too talented. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta remember this. Hey, you start like this. Sup. No, those are isolations that he's doing. But he's always holding this in. Oh, it's crazy, crazy good. Oh, isn't that great? Thank wow, you. Give that's applause, awesome. applause. That's awesome, man. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So we'll go out here. So, um, and then, um, thank you, dancers. Thank you, Darius. It's like so cute. You're good. See ya. Did you see that? Thank you guys. Sorry to interrupt. He was dancing with us. See ya, Darius. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
We're back in the hallway of your 10,000 square foot studio. Yes, we are. And I, am, I, look, I was looking earlier at some of the brochures you have mm -hmm. about upcoming performances. And this is the Sugar Plum Fairy Tea. It's a really neat event. I think this is our third year that we're doing it. It's actually at Riverside Receptions here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are coming to it. We're going to be out at 200. And it's really neat for the dancers that and non-dancers that come and just want to come and play and be fed and open dancing. Oh, that's neat. It's something different and fun oh, for that's the holidays. Fun. Yeah. And you have contemporary dancing as well. We do. We have a huge contemporary program and my new director is Miss Kara and she is going to be wonderful. Right. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> the two shows that we have coming up and this is news because nobody knows. Ooh. We're going to be doing Breaking Alice in news. Wonderland. Really? Mm -hmm. full, we do full length productions here and we're doing full length yeah, Sleeping Beauty. So those, wow. the ballet and the contemporary show. So if you want to come be in those, sign up soon. Open auditions. No, actually, anybody can do the show. Anyone? No yep, kidding. Absolutely. Nutcracker is an audition to show. You okay. have to audition for Nutcracker. Got it. Absolutely. And I had to audition for that. Yeah. Several thousand middle-aged men with significant weight And he got the too. job. Yeah, it's my, Go Because nobody else showed up. <laughs> so it was awesome. No, we're really excited to have you in this show. Oh, it's, it's going to be a ball. It'll be a ball. Asset. And I really appreciate everybody and the crew that you brought today. Oh, well, to we're here to talk showcase. about State Street Dance and what an extraordinary Thank thing you, you do, not just for the dancers, but of course for the community as well. Thank you so much, yeah, what a Kevin. Pleasure. I really appreciate that. And, let, let, and you mentioned this, Linda, but let's not forget the Nutcracker, November 30th. Look at this beautiful poster. Thank you so much. And November on December 1st. Two shows on November 30th at 2 and 7 o'clock p.m. And one show that you're going to be yes, in I am. on December 1st at 2 o'clock. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you, sir. So I want to learn more about State Street Dance Studio. What's your website? What's your phone number? The website is www.statestreetdancestudio.com. Why I did that 13 years ago is so long, <laughs> I don't know. But it's easy to remember. <laughs> there you go. Stay and the safe. address, you're located in the Fargo building, but the actual address is, is 9 North 4th Street in beautiful downtown Geneva. Awesome. And awesome. the phone number yes. is 630-232-0444. Backwards, that spells Linda Cunningham. <laughs> so that's cool. Anything else you'd like to add, Linda, before I get to go home and have a good time? <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for coming out. And thank, thank you. you all for watching and hope to see you on the dance floor. Wonderful.